So if you've been following the channel for a little bit, you know how much I absolutely love Jack White. I consider him my favorite musician of all time. The White Stripes are in my top five bands of all time. I love everything Jack's done. His solo albums, his stuff with the White Stripes, the Raccoon Tours, the Dead Weather, everything, okay? I love, just, I, I love Jack White so much. I'm wearing my White Stripes shirt and my family just went on a vacation to Florida just for the weekend, just a short run. But we, uh, of course, live in Canada and we drove up to Detroit and then flew from Detroit just because it was easier into Tampa. And then while flying back today, we, uh, on our way home, went off the highway a little bit and went down to Third Man Records. This is something that I in the best way possible bag my parents do just because of how much Jack White means to me and because of how great I've heard that it is there and oh my god is it amazing not only do I want to show you what I got there but also I just I I just want to talk about how awesome it is there I have some pictures I have uh, one short video I didn't of course record everything in there this isn't a vlog or anything unfortunately just because I didn't want to do that just I, I really wanted to just be in the moment and and I, I mean, I could live there for sure. But um, I think I'll just show you what I got first. Actually, first off, this is what my dad got. We are going to see Jack White in the summer in Toronto. So this is what uh, he got. This is just a normal Third Man Records one, but it uh, it looks really nice. I really like that shirt. I think that uh, he really enjoyed it too. He picked it out. Um, I didn't even say anything about it. Uh, but then this is stuff for me. Obviously, you guys know what <laughs> this is gonna be. But uh, how could I not? How could you go there and not get something for the white stripes? Now this is just a really cool one. It looks like it's almost like handmade which i really enjoy but what i really want to do which i mean may, might be a stretch but i really want to get like red pants you know like jack had to wear with this because i think that'd be really awesome um for now i'll probably stick with my black pants but still i really enjoy that and then uh finally we have this really cool uh, it's just a normal Jack White one, but it, it's kind of just for Fear of the Dawn, which I think is really cool. It's just this basic logo. There was another one I was looking at that uh, kind of had a moon on it that said Fear of the Dawn, but it was only in extra, extra large, so XXL, so, or XXL or XXXL, <laughs> um, which, you know, that's totally okay. I really enjoy that, but when you go into the store, I mean, it's so well laid out. When you walk first in there, you see kind of like some of Jack's stuff, so it has this big Fear of the Dawn thing, I'll put a picture on the screen, it also has uh, Entering Heaven Alive there, which I cannot wait for, beside that is uh, uh, the White Stripes under Amazon, wait, under Amazonian Lights or Great Amazonian Lights? No. Yeah, under, under Amazonian Lights or something like that, which is ironic because that's what I watched on the way to Detroit, like the first time on the way to Florida, really. But uh, I've seen it before, but I just watched it again. I really enjoy that one. I think it's really cool when Jack goes out uh, to the people outside and plays. We're going to be friends. But uh, then they have this motorbike. And then when you turn, you just see like this big layout for Fear of the Dawn. You see a bunch of third man stuff, all the black, yellow, and white kind of things. And then you have just so many vinyls. Now, the thing is, I don't have a vinyl player, which will kind of contradict some of the, the stuff I'm, I'm about to show you, because I did get some vinyls, but not exactly what you'd expect. But you have all that there, but also you just see these great, really big pictures of some of them, and of course my favorites were the one of Jack and Mag. I took Mag's at a really terrible angle, so I apologize. I'll try to zoom in a little bit, but the Jack one is also really cool, and then I, I knew this, obviously, but it was cool to kind of see my family's reaction to this. When you go in and and you walk all the way to the back, you can see inside the actual like record pressing part, like where it's it's a record plant as well. It's like half kind of a store with all these cool white stripe stuff and a Jack White stuff and Raccoon Tour stuff and just kind of everything third, <laughs> which obviously kind of makes sense. But everything Jack White's kind of done, and you know you could buy Elvis record there because he got that online once and then was able to press. So you can buy so many different things, but of course the big thing that is kind of presented is Jack's own things and they have some great stuff for Fear of the Dawn as well. They have a really big TV that just kept kind of playing his videos over and over again, just taking me back and Fear of the Dawn, I think just those videos kind of going back and forth, but it's on mute. So if you're recording there, you won't get copyrighted. But I sat on like the, the chair, which is cool because there's a little peppermint 
little peppermint pillow and then on the other one there was a distill kind of style pillow and there's a really cool setup there's obviously a stage uh for those who know and uh right beside that is something i didn't even know they had in there so for those who know i feel like i keep saying that in this video jack has a bunch of just really cool and different pedals with third man so the big one the first one that was released is like the triple graph one very expensive so i unfortunately didn't get it i'm not going to pull it out of this bag unfortunately but that would be cool it's like this octave pedal and there was a guy playing uh the guitar that is just like jack's it it's not like an airline it's like a subaru but it looks a lot like his and i didn't have a pick so that's what my playing in the video i'm going to show you isn't the best but i tried my best to play it and not also crank it because they have like a old Fender uh, amp and it's just really cool then they have a pedal board on the floor and it has like all four pedals and I kind of I, I had fun playing with them I, I kind of was like oh this is so different from what I'm used to and the guy who was playing before me is like yeah this one pedal makes it feel like you're literally playing electricity and he was so right I forget which pedal it was exactly but soon I'll just put it up on the screen here because um, I can picture it in my head so when I see it on the website um, I will definitely know what it is and it was just really cool to see. Here's that video of just me playing some random white stripe stuff. <laughs> So that was kind of a nice surprise and they had this really cool like white stripes long sleeve thing but it was 165 bucks so it's like I'm, I'm not going to get that right now um I'm, you know maybe if there's like a great sale i will but that's when i ended up getting this white stripe shirt and then uh there's some really cool things like they have the lego set for fell in love with a girl which is cool i wanted to get it but it was 60 bucks and american too so obviously when you convert it canadian it, it like ends up being more. I don't really know how to describe it perfectly without uh, somebody trying to correct me in the comments. <laughs> that's that's okay. And just a bunch of really cool stuff, mini guitars and stuff like that. But then I kind of saw this cool white stripe section, which had a ton of their singles and it had under great white Northern lights as well. Like the uh, double LP, it had their it had all the albums, but what I did end up getting is three of the singles. Um, I'll try not to show them when I lift it up here, but again, I don't, okay, you can kind of tell. I don't have a record player, but these were $7, so I was like, I'm going to get it because one day I will eventually get a record player, and just having these will just make me feel like an even bigger White Stripes fan. Uh, I haven't even taken them out of like the plastic yet. First up, we have Let's Shake Hands. Uh, the reason is it's not my favorite song. I, think. I mean, I love it, of course. I love basically every White Stripes song, but this is the first thing they ever uh, put out, released, Let's Shake Hands. Really cool song. Um, it's kind of cool to see on the back here as well. It says, uh, Jack White peppermint stripe music and um then they have this cover which i actually haven't listened to yet i don't know why i'll have to listen to that on uh, apple music but uh you have jack white vocals guitar piano and mag white drums uh there's a really cool thing on some of the other ones and then i have two more now this next one i had to get because um it is probably my favorite song by them at least i called it mine for a while i really don't know what my favorite song is that is dead leaves in the dirty round again these singles were seven bucks so i definitely had to get them because i wasn't gonna get a full album for like 
$30. I was like, I just want to get these ones. Plus, I mean, this really isn't on any of the albums besides Underground Northern Lights or the uh, Greatest Hits. But, um, you know, this has Dead Leaves Underground and on the side two, it stopped breaking down live at the BBC Studios Madiaville, whatever that says. But I really love this uh, art and I will, I think I, I might take one of these. I'll take the next one out. I haven't done that yet and I probably will leave it for a bit. And then finally, I had to get fell in love with a girl and people are probably like, oh, why didn't you get some of the more kind of underrated picks? But these are just three of my favorites. We were kind of like, okay, let's go. So I grabbed a few. Uh, these are just the three. Ironically, I didn't even mean to grab three. But this one I really enjoy because on the A side, it's fell in love with a girl. But on the B side, it's I just don't know what to do with myself. So maybe if I go back there again or if I get another single, I, I probably will get... Um, the Hello Operator single because not only does it have Meg on the cover, which I really enjoy, but the B-side is uh, Jolene, which is like my favorite cover of all time. I'll make some video on cover soon. That's my favorite cover of all time, and I love Hello Operator. So these are the three singles I got once again. It's Let's Shake Hands. The B-side is Look Me Over Closely, and then next one is Dead Leaves in the Dirty Ground. The B-side is Stop Breaking Down Live, and then this last one is Fell in Love with a Girl, and the B-side is I Just Don't Know What to Do myself so i i had to get some type of vinyl stuff um again i haven't i i don't have a record player but i've been really wanting to get one for a while so uh don't kill me if i'm not doing this properly um in here okay wow that's so cool we have uh this in here and when you take it out i'm going to be try to be very careful and not uh piss off all the record people uh This is what it is. Wow, that is really cool. I think this is how I'm supposed to hold it. <laughs> Again, I sound like such an idiot with this. So on uh, yeah, on this side, it's fell in love with a girl. On the other side, it's I just don't know what to do with myself. So this is cool because it says Third Man Records on it, obviously. Um, yeah, that's, that's I don't know. It's just so cool to, that records are still such a big thing with Jack, especially. I mean, it's kind of always been like that for them. But to have some of my favorite songs, not just from him or the white stripes just of all time kind of have the real real physical copy not just on you know a uh, cd or something it's, it's pretty cool and one day when i get a record player which hopefully won't be too far from now i'll be able to play these and i'll probably make a video on that but yeah those are the pickups i got at third man uh finally i think i'll just talk about how amazing the cashier there was i don't know her name or anything but she was very very nice my dad and i when we were checking out just want to put it back in this little pouch here but basically when we were uh checking out she's, there weren't many people in there because it was uh close to closing time around 4 30 and it was closing at 5 because of easter weekend i know i'm talking while doing this so it's probably distracting but i, I like these videos just like my last video without editing that much because it makes it feel more like real and raw i'm gonna i'll do that after she's like oh are you visiting are you from out of town we're like yeah we're from canada but uh we just went on a family trip to florida but uh while driving back you know we flew into detroit while driving back she's like oh okay that's cool um first time here we're like yeah i mean we had to stop by because of how much i love jack white and because i was wearing this shirt she's like oh i like your shirt i was like thank you uh very much and then what did she say after that? Oh yeah, um, she's like, yeah, he's he's on tour right now. He just played here a little bit ago because he played like the Masonic Masonic Theater, which is not far from there, I think, if I remember correctly. And then I asked her if she uh, went and saw it. She's like, no, normally I try to see it, but she had to work. They're very busy, obviously. Um, and then we told her that we're going to see him in Toronto. Again, if you don't know, we are going to see him in Toronto. So if you're going to that show, let me know down below. I do know a few people there will be kind of in the, the standing, what you would call a pit at a metal concert. Um, you'll be able to see my dad and I. And she's like, oh, okay, that's cool. And then I asked her, of course, if she uh, listened to the new album. She said, oh, yeah, of course I have. And I asked her what her favorite song is. She said, Heidi Ho. And on my Patreon soon, I will have a tier list up for all the songs on that album because I've listened to it like six or seven times now i really love that album she said her favorite's heidi ho i still think my favorite is actually the white raven i really love that one but anyway yeah those are the the pickups at third man and that's kind of my fun third man story there were a lot of cool things there if you get the chance to go you definitely should this is was of course the one in detroit there's also one in nashville and i think one in 
London, England, or some, somewhere over there. But once again, I got this shirt here. I got this white stripes shirt. I mean, I'll, I'll always be collecting these white stripes shirts. Hopefully to get some red pants with that. Just a really complete look. And this is my dad's third man shirt. Um, I'll set those over here, back over here. Again, not gonna edit much. And then I got the singles, fell in love with a girl. Dead leaves in its dirty ground, and let's shake hands. So maybe you know one day I might I might do some type of video to kind of get me towards getting a record player, some type of what you would call fundraiser, but not exactly. You know what I mean. But thank you all for watching. If you've been to Third Man, tell me your full story going there. I thought it was really great. Uh, nobody was working like at the actual, you know, like creating the records today. But uh, one day I would really like to go back when they're starting to do tours again, because that's another thing that uh, one of the cashier or the cashier said that they're trying to figure out how they can start tours again. I think it'd be really cool to go in there and see. But thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Over and out.